Hey, Shalom. Kohalo, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kodash. Brother Abal Gabar from the Company of Prophets coming at you with an impromptu. Lord willing, it's edifying to the hopeful elect, man. You know, I'm out here just, uh, you know, walking around and I'm thinking about how we can see the finish line, man. You know, we at the end of this thing, all the prophecies taking place. You know, we, we're waiting for one major prophecy, which is what? The MOTB, the Karagma, which that's pretty much here, man. It's only a matter of months before they really push this thing, man. All right. The elder apostle Tahar uh, deemed this year. Um, what is it? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right. That's why we give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, man. All right, because hey, they've been laboring in doctrine and truth and everything that's, you know, starting with the, uh, the elder apostles on down, what they've been saying, everything's happening, man. You know? But we see the finish line, man. And you know, the scriptures say, he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So we got to endure. We got to continue to fight the good fight of faith. We got to endure. But the finish line is... You, you see it It's like when you In a race You know The beginning of the race You know It might be a mile race Or whatever You get You get to uh, You know The beginning You good You know You're on fire You know You got all your energy Well you gotta keep That same momentum All the way to the end man You gotta keep The same momentum That you had in the beginning All the way to the end But at the end of the race You know when, Once you get close to the end You see what You see the finish line all right, and that's what we see. We're seeing the finish line by way of the prophecies. Second Ezra uh, nine says, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself." So we measure in the time that we're living in by way of the prophecies that are coming to pass, man. All right, the prophecies of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah, man. Everything is happening rapid speed. You see what's going on with Russia, Ukraine, uh, China, and Taiwan. You got America. With Yemen, all right, you got um, Israel, Hamas. So the rumors of wars is all here, man. The pestilence, the division, everything that Yahweh Shai, you know, told us of is taking place, man. All right, everything's getting ready to come to pass. And Lord willing, we get out of here this year, man, you know. And it's a, it's a possibility, you know. We see the finish line. I mean, we see the light at the end of the tunnel, and that's why it's important to keep that momentum man you know keep putting your best foot forward keep fighting the good fight of faith you know we're not gonna have to deal with this bullshit much longer man we're not gonna have to deal with these fleshly bodies man you know we're gonna get our new bodies soon you know be righteous judges on the earth but before you can get that you gotta hey we gotta finish the race you gotta finish the race uh like paul said what did paul say he said um he compared this truth unto a race, man. All right. And that's why, hey, why did I title it? We see the finish line because it is a race. All right. You got guys falling out left and right, giving up, you know, going back into the world, you know. But we see the finish line. So we're going to now's the time to sprint to the finish line, man. And, you know, yeah, towards the end of the race, you might be winded. You might, you know, you already ran however long, you know. But that's the last part of the race is what means the most you know you got to cross the finish line man you know but uh the apostle paul what did he say he said um uh roughly paraphrasing like i said it's the impromptu so i'm just flowing with the spirit lord willing and edifying to the hopeful elect you know and you can uh, you know you can drop the scriptures in the comments or whatever but uh roughly paraphrasing the scripture in romans i don't know what chapter but it says um uh, he compared it to a race You know Know you not They which run in a race run all But one receiveth the prize And the one is the elect The only ones that are going to cross the finish line Is the elect Alright Like uh, Yahweh Shai said Many are called Few are chosen So you got guys that have entered into the race You know You signed up to be in the race And you 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 know You, you might have been running the race But then you got guys that fall out They don't finish the race Why? Because Many are called, few are chosen. No, if do you not know that they who run a race run all, and only one receives the prize. The one is the elect. That's what Paul was talking about. And what did he say? He said, "Run that you may obtain." 
All right, so you got to run in this race to obtain the prize. The prize, the, the prize is what? Eternal life, a crown, meeting our Lord, Yahweh Shai, being a, a, one of the 144,000 judges and rulers over the whole planet Earth. You know? But that's the prize, man. But, hey, uh, the Apostle Paul said, run that you may obtain. We want to obtain the prize. And, and Yahweh Shai said, I, I come to give uh, every man a reward according to your works. Roughly paraphrasing. So you're going to get what you put into this thing at the end of it. Now, hey, the 144,000, the scriptures say, um, you know, uh, we all going to receive that penny. You know, Yahweh Shai said that, you know, no matter how long you were laboring, how long you were running in the race, uh, the race, we all going to receive that one penny, which is the kingdom at the end of the day. But even within that, you have order and structure, man. You know, you have order in the 144,000. All right. There's going to be different ranking files in the 144,000. Now, the 144,000, that's the elect. But even within that, like you got Yahweh Shai, you know, you got, uh, well, you got King David, the 12 apostles, you know. The, the, hey, the, the Lord has favorites, man. All right. Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shai has favorites, man. And really, the favorites, the elect, all right, they're going to win this race. So you're going to cross the finish line, whoever the elect is. Everything has been predestined from the foundation of the earth. Whoever the elect is, you're going to cross the finish line. All right, it's already been set in stone. Uh, what is that? Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I, uh, I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And the Lord said, I ordained you a prophet to the nations. So not only did he ordain you to be a prophet, he ordained you to win the race. All right. The Lord said, hey, the scriptures say in Revelation that he's coming back to give reward to the servants, the prophets. So, hey, uh, hey, scriptures talk about uh, them. He called. He also predestinated to be conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai. So everything's the game is rigged. So you, you I mean, you see the, the title of the lesson. The title of the lesson is what? You know, uh, uh, we see the finish line. Well. The, the, the race is already rigged. It's already rigged who's going to win the race, who's going to cross the finish line. And that's the elect, the elect of the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, starting with 144,000, which is, uh, you know, 12,000 men from each, uh, each one of the 12 tribes, all right, from Judah on down to Issachar, all right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is who salvation is for. And the only ones that's going to be in them chariot, in that fathership, I should say, is the elect. It's Jake, Israelites. All right, so it's going to be all Israelites, and they're going to look like all different nations. Hey, and that's that's ultimately crossing the finish line, man. That's when you cross the finish line is when you make it to the chariot. Um, that's when you can say you've been saved. Ain't nobody saved yet. Got these wacky tacky Christians talking about they saved. What the hell you saved from, man? <laughs> you ain't saved from shit. That missile's still coming. All right, Jacob's trouble's still coming. Famine, plague, uh, tri tribulation, anguish, all of this stuff is still coming. So how the fuck can you say you saved? You can say that you're saved when you make it into the fathership, okay? You got your crown on your head. You got your new body. Then you can say you've been saved. Yahweh Shah, he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. All right. And guess what? The game is rigged. The game is rigged. The race is rigged. Life is rigged. All right. All right. Everything's rigged because everything's bound to the uh, the prophecy of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Everything's bound to the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. What is that? Proverbs uh, 24, I believe, or 23. One of those chapters in Proverbs. What? I mean, it's a, a, a famous amongst us Hebrew Israelites is what? Um, the scripture that says um, man's goings are of the Lord. You know, how can a man then understand his own way? Right. Because everywhere you go, even me doing this video right now is predestined. It's already set in stone. Brothers watching this video. It was predestined for you to turn this video on, go on to YouTube, turn your phone on, click on this video, watch the Everything's predestined. So. Whoever is meant to get it is going to get it. 
Whoever's not meant to get it, it's not going to get it. Whoever's meant to finish the race is going to finish the race. Whoever's not meant to finish the race is not going to finish the race. All right? Everything's predestined. All right? We're, we're doing nothing of our own will. The Lord is literally guiding you every step of the way. And that's why the elect is going to be protected during the time of Jacob's trouble. You're not going to have to defend yourself. The Lord is going to be there to defend you. All right? You got guys talking about carnal warfare and shit. Bro, the Lord is going to defend his elect at the end of the day. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is going to defend the elect. Uh, the scriptures say in Isaiah, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. What? Because of you? Because of your strength and your might? No, because of the the, uh, the power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, the, the force of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai that's behind you, brothers, all right, and sisters, all right? And even in that, you know, the Lord is going to give his men spiritual power. So, shit. You, you're going to have feeble men. Men, you know, feeble that you might see like, oh, he's a small guy. Lord, put that, put power on that man. Put that Rakat Kodash on his ass. He, he ain't going to be a little guy. He's going to be a giant. All right? In the spirit. He might look like a small guy, but he a giant because the Lord put that power on him. So, hey, uh, Psalms 144 and 1. Uh, uh, a psalm of, uh, I believe, King David. King David, he said, um, the Lord teaches his hands to fight. You know, my fingers to war. Roughly paraphrasing. All right? So the Lord going to put his spirit. Hey, that that's, hey, imagine that. You know? And at that point, it, it, whoever the Lord raised up, I mean, you know you're going to be the elect. The Lord give you that power, man. You know, it's like confirmation, man. Now, hey, and that's, hey, you, you're going to have brothers that's going to receive that spiritual power on this side, man. And that's what we believe in. We believe that through faith. So we're not going to have to defend ourselves. We're going to, we're going, the Lord is going to defend us, man. Even the brothers that get the spiritual power, it's not going to be them. It's going to be a hell, Bashmi, I was shy working through these men. All right. You're not going to be able to boast of the power that you get. If you are one of the elect and you get the spiritual power, you're not going to be able to be like, oh, look what I can do. Like some proud ass nigga would. No. What you're going to do is you're going to give praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The Lord is doing all of this. All right? And shalom to the brother uh, tuning in. Let's grab some of these scriptures. What y'all brothers got? Shalom, King Serving Yahweh Shah 777. Hmm. Let's grab this. Second Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby you have believed. Right. So the ones who are going to escape is going to be escaped by their works and their faith. The ones that believe. And guess what? Whoever was meant to believe, you were predestined to believe. You were predestined to have good works. You know, you're predestined to be. Uh, uh, fashioned after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You were predestined to uh, finish the race, finish the course. You know? And that's only for the elect. And we're hoping and praying that we be numbered amongst the elect, man. Because the Lord, at the end of the day, the Lord don't need none of us, man. All right? We are nothing. We are nothing. All right? But the Lord, you know, if, if, if the Lord <laughs> will, he can make us something. You know? We got to stay humble, man, at the end of the day, because the Lord don't need none of us, man. Like uh, he said, he can raise up rocks, <laughs> you know, the Lord can raise up rocks to, to do the work, you know, to children of Abraham. The Lord can raise up rocks, man. So, you know, we got to finish this race, man, but we, we see it. Yeah, this is fire. Second Ezra uh, 2 and 13. Whereas thou hast spoken of them that are left behind. This is the interpretation. It says, he that shall endure the peril in that time hath kept himself. Yeah, so you're going to have to endure the time of tribulation, the, the great time of testing. It says, they that be fallen into danger are such as have works and faith toward the almighty. Right. And at the end of the day, we're all going to be in that dangerous position, you know? Brothers that got faith in works, you know, you're not just going to get the kingdom. You're going to, you know, go through. You're going to have to go through that straight and narrow. All right? It says...
2 Ezra 13 and 25, this is the meaning of the vision, whereas thou sawest a man coming up from the midst of the sea. It says, the same is he whom the Most High, the uh, Yahweh, the highest, hath kept a great season, which by his own self shall deliver his creature, and he shall order them that are left behind. Right, and the Lord is going to deliver his elect. The creation, you know, his uh, the first spirits created, the Alahayim. You know, gonna go back to that God estate, but we gotta pass the finish line, man. We gotta keep keep enduring, fighting the good fight of faith, cause hey, the finish line is right there, man. So we gotta cross the finish line, even if you gotta dive across that bitch. You know, get across the finish line, man. Don't let nothing what shall separate you from the love of Hamashiach. What's gonna separate you from this truth, man? From doing the will of the Most High. Tribulation, distress, being hated. You're gonna be hated anyways. All right? Yahweh Shai was hated. But, hey, don't let nothing get in the way of that finish line, man. What's gonna separate you from the love of the Most High? And that's why you always gotta wake up every day uh, dedicated to the work, dedicated to the will of the Most High, you know? Be thankful the Lord gave you breath today, man. He ain't have to wake you up. So the least we could do is, you know, uh, serve him, you know, call upon his name, do these lessons, go to camp, so on and so forth, man. But hey, man, he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. We see the finish line, cross the finish line, finish the race. Whoever's going to finish the race, you are going to finish it from the beginning of earth anyways. So, and it's not because of you, it's because of you. How about me? I was shy. All right. So with that, Lord willing, it was Eddie Fonson, hopeful elect. Call hello, you. How about me? I was shy. Uh, Shimmer Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who teach you well. And until next time I say, Shalom.